Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find a value of double integration where the region is given here. Okay, so we will try to find out that region first. We will draw the diagram. After that, by considering a strip, we will find the limits of integration and then we solve the double integration. Let us find out the region first. So let me mention we have region is bounded by which curves. Okay, we will start with very simple curves. Y is equal to zero we have. You know that y is equal to 0 represents x-axis. So let me mention here. So y is equal to 0, which is x-axis. Okay. Next is y is equal to pi. Actually, they have mentioned inequality, but by considering equality, we will draw curves and then the region bounded by all these curves that will be the given region of integration. So next is y is equal to pi. So it represents a line parallel to x-axis. Okay, let me mention parallel to x-axis so i will draw that line here x y is equal to pi which is parallel to x-axis which passes through y is equal to pi okay let me draw that pi here so this is y is equal to pi okay let us go further next x is equal to zero x is equal to zero that is nothing but y-axis okay so x is equal to zero which is y-axis and the last one x is equal to cos y okay so x is equal to cos y, this is not a regular curve. Since y is equal to cos x, we draw then, uh, we write, then we have a cos curve. You know that the cos curve. But here x is equal to cos y, so it is looking little bit different. So what will we do? We will find some points on a curve. We will join them by a freehand drawing and we will have a required curve. So for that purpose, I am drawing a table here. Okay. So we will have some values of x, values of y and x, y. So x, y and x, y. We will find any three points on a curve. I am putting the values of y since we have to put values of y here, then we will get the value of x. I am starting with a simple value y is equal to 0. So you know that cos 0 is 1. So 1 comma 0. This is the first point. Okay. So this is 1 comma 0. So starting point is this one. Next I will put uh, y is equal to, let me put y is equal to pi by 2. So if I put y is equal to pi by 2, cos pi by 2 is 0, you know. So that's why x is equal to 0. So the point is 0 comma pi by 2. So let me find that point 0 comma pi by 2 is here. Okay, this pi by 2. So we got a second point. This is our first point. This is second point. Let us find one more point. I'm putting y is equal to pi now. If I put y is equal to pi, cos pi is minus 1. So that's why value of x is minus 1. So the point is minus 1 comma pi where is this point minus 1 comma pi x is minus 1 y is pi so point will be here so we have to join these three points so we will have a required curve see so it is a cos curve so it will be like this okay so we have a curve see we have to consider a region which is bounded by all these curves which is bounded by x axis which is bounded by y axis which is bounded by y is equal to pi as well as which is bounded by this cosine curve also so the region will be like this okay so this region we should consider which is bounded by all these curves and we should consider this region also okay which is also satisfy all these conditions so that means Combinedly, we will have, okay, the given region of integration. But see, as you can see in this diagram, so it has two distinct parts, different parts. So we cannot consider the entire region simultaneously. So what will we do? We will consider one region at a time. So I will consider this is region R1. I will consider this, re this is region R2, okay. We are going to consider a strip either parallel to x-axis or y-axis. We will solve the integration only for one region okay first of all we will solve the integration for r1 after that we will solve the integration for r2 and finally we will combine it we will add them so we will have the required value of double integration okay let us start to do so i'm going to consider a strip now so here we have two options either we can consider a strip parallel to x-axis or we can consider a strip parallel to y-axis I have tried this problem in rough. Okay, I solved it. See, I found that when I consider a strip parallel to y axis, the problem will be more difficult. But if we consider a strip parallel to x axis, we can easily solve this problem. So that's why I'm considering a strip parallel to x axis. Otherwise, most of the times I go for the strip parallel to y axis. So let me mention here consider a strip, consider a strip parallel to parallel to x-axis okay let, let, let me draw the strip here 
So we have a strip like this, which is parallel to x axis here. We have a strip like this, which is parallel to x axis. OK, I'm going to consider region R1 first. After that, we will go for region R2. There is no more space to write. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. So let us solve the problem for region R1. OK, so I'm considering this region R1. So we have considered strip parallel to x axis. So we should write first x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to then we should write from y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to. So you're familiar with the funda when we have a strip parallel to y axis, we consider bounded below, bounded above. And after that, we move strip from bottom to top. So here strip is bounded below by this curve whose equation is x is equal to cos y. So I should write x is equal to cos y, right? And strip is bounded above by this line, which is part of y axis whose equation is x is equal to zero. After that, we have to move this strip from bottom to top since we have to cover each and every corner of a region of integration. So we have considered this region R1 only. So which is we should start at this point where the value of y is pi by 2. So it varies from pi by 2 and we should move the strip from bottom to top. OK, it will stop it. Yeah, that strip will stop here. So where the value of y is pi. So in this way, we what the values of limits x varies from cos y to 0 and y varies from pi by 2 to pi. OK, so let me mention those things here. So therefore, therefore, so I will call it as I1, OK, double integration over R1. We have x sine y, OK, dx dy. So this is equal to R1 having limits pi by 2 to pi, OK, and here cos y to 0 x sine y dx dy. We should write dx dy since we have considered the strip parallel to x axis, right? Let us solve the integration with respect to x first. So integration pi by 2 to pi. See, we are integrating with respect to x. So that's why sine y, which is function of y. So it, it will be constant. So I will take it outside. OK, so sine will, y will come outside and integration of x is x square by 2 with limits cos y to 0. And I should write here dy. OK, so we have some space. Let us use that space. So this is equal to see this one by two is constant will come outside. So one by two integration pi by two to pi. Right. I'm putting upper limit. If I put upper limit, we will have zero. Right. So sine y is there sine y. I'm putting zero upper limit zero. If I put a lower limit, so we'll have cos square y. Right. So it will be cos square y and dy is there. See, there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it. After that, we will go further. OK, so uh, minus sign I have taken outside. I'm solving it further. But see, we cannot solve this problem directly. Since sine y is there and cos square y is there, there is a need of substitution. I'm going to put cos y is equal to t. So we can easily solve this example. Putting cos y is equal to t. So when we put anything in case of integration, we need to find its derivative as well as we need to find new limits. Let us find derivative first. Derivative of cos y is minus sine y dy is equal to dt. OK, derivative of t is 1, so we'll have dt only. So now we have to change the limits. Let us think about limits for original limits uh, where y is equal to pi by 2. OK, for this value of y, we will have new value of t. And for y is equal to pi, let us find a new value of t. If I put y is equal to pi by 2, you know that cos pi by 2 is 0, right? And if I put y is equal to pi here, cos pi is minus 1. So I should write minus 1 here. We have new limits. We have found out derivative also. Let us put those things in this integral i1. So i1 is equal to minus 1 by 2. New limits 0 to minus 1, right? Cos y, we are replacing it by t. So t square. Correct. And sine y dy, sine y dy, this minus sign, we need to shift it here. So there will be minus dt, sine y dy, we can replace it by minus dt. Let me write that thing here. So actually, we had a need of minus sign getting so that minus and minus will get cancelled to each other. We will have simply one by two. We have to integrate t square, which is t cube by three having limit zero to minus one. Now our only our task is to put values of upper limit and lower limit. Let us do it now. So this is equal to one by two. I am putting upper limit minus one minus one cube, which is minus one again. 
so minus 1 by 3 if i put 0 0 raised to anything we will have 0 right 0 raised to 3 0 by 3 0 so that's why uh, by taking product we will have minus 1 by 6 so the value of i1 is minus 1 by 6 here we solve the double integration over region r1 only now we have to consider region r2 we have to find out we have to find a value of i2 getting and after adding them we will have the required value of integration make a screenshot of it then we will go further so for region r2 also okay we have a straight parallel to x axis so we should write x varies from x is equal to x is equal to then y varies from y is equal to to y is equal to fundi same bounded below bounded above we move strip from bottom to top so strip is bounded below by x is equal to 0 so i should write 0 here strip is bounded above by this curve whose equation is x is equal to cos y so i should mention cos y here and now we have to move strip from bottom to top okay we have to cover each and every point of the region of integration see at bottom so strip is strip will start at this point getting at this line y is equal to 0 is equation and we need to move the strip from here to this point where the value of y is pi by 2 okay so let us consider this limits and let us solve this integration we have called it as i2 where we are solving the double integration over region r2 so this is equal to uh, limits of y 0 to pi by 2 right and here 0 to cos y right so x sine dx dy our strip is parallel to x axis so that's why inner integration with respect to x outer integration with respect to y when we integrate with respect to x sine y is a constant we can take it outside let us do it integration 0 to pi by 2 sine y will come outside integration of x is x square by 2 with limits 0 to cos y dy see this 1 by 2 is constant I and I always take constant outside. So that's why 1 by 2 will come outside 0 to pi by 2, right? Sine y, putting upper limit cos square y. If I put lower limit 0, obviously we will have 0. So that's why I skip that step. And I should write here dy. We have to solve this integration. It is not that much easy. We cannot solve it directly, basically, since we don't have direct formula. See, but if I put cos y is equal to t just like we have already done for integral i1 okay i will repeat the same thing for integral i2 also i am going to put cos y is equal to t let us see what will happen so let me mention here putting cos y is equal to t i should take its integration integration uh, see i should take derivative when we put anything we need to do two tasks that means first is we have to take its derivative and the second we have to change the limits we have to find out new limits so i'm taking derivative derivative is minus sine y dy derivative of t is one so i should write dt after that what we do we shift this minus sign on that side huh? since we can replace sine y dy by minus dt okay so let us find new limits for y is equal to what are the original limits 0 to pi by 2 y 0 y pi by 2 so we have to find values of t okay so let us find y is equal to 0 if i put here so cos 0 is 1 and if i put pi by 2 there cos pi by 2 is 0 so these are our new limits see there is no more space to solve this example make a screenshot of it after that we will go further okay see by putting these values in integral we got this one okay so limits were 1 to 0 i wrote the same cos i we replace cos y we replaced by t cos square was there so that's why i wrote t square and sine y dy we replaced by minus dt so we got this one see minus sign we can take outside so minus 1 by 2 integration 1 to 0 t square dt integration of t square you know that it is t cube by 3 right Z 1 to 0 so this is equal to minus 1 by 2 i am putting 0 so we'll have 0 minus if i put 1 so 1 by 3 if you take product it will be 1 by 6 that means value of i2 is 1 by 6 so therefore therefore i is equal to actual integral is equal to i1 plus i2 so i1 was minus 1 by 6 i2 is 1 by 6 if you add we will have 0 so this is a required value of double integration make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye